Hi guys, James at Goddard Radio Moscow Beer and Metal Reviews again for you today. Um, for this one we are going to return from the foreign beers and come back to the state of Victoria in Australia. And um, this one is a beer who, from a brewery who are very, very highly rated and the guys who run this brewery are meant to be a little bit crazy. So we're going to go to the Abbotsford district of Melbourne this time and have a taste of a beer from the Moondog Craft Brewery. And this one is called Love Tap and it's an Imperial Pills kind of double what it's called a double lager on the label and the style that I've looked up for this guy says it's an imperial pills beer so it should be quite an interesting one I do like a nice kind of hoppy kind of lager beer and this one apparently is just that on this video as well I want to give a shout out to Chris at Slow Beer he was the one who recommended this beer to me a very nice little craft beer shop in the Richmond area of Melbourne so go and check that out if you do find yourself in the city so anyway, as is usual with my reviews then, I'll take you through a little bit of a history of the brewery. Very, very short for this one, but if you don't want to stick with me for that, just fast forward and you'll get right to the tasting. The brewery website's in the video description for you below, along with a link to my other reviews that I will hopefully do from Moondog in the future. So anyway, as I mentioned to you, this brewery is based in the Abbotsford district of Melbourne and it was founded in 2010 by three musical friends, Carl Van Buren and brothers Josh and Jake Ullians. I think that, I'm not sure if they are actually Dutch or if they all just have Dutch names, so that'd be an interesting thing to know. But their brewery is a 13 hectolitre electric system which is lit by chandeliers and decorated with a wall of barrels and a mural of the big man John Candy, very kind of famous comedian actor, if you don't know him, most of you probably will. But apparently many observers have described it as being the, the strangest brewery they've ever they've actually ever seen and apparently it's quite a fun place to go and hang out but the brewery building also houses a small bar which also serves food and this is open on Thursday and Friday evenings and also Saturday from lunchtime till late and if you do go there on a Saturday you can apparently get a tour of the brewery at 2.30pm but I think you need to book in advance for that. As I say check out the brewery website in the description below where you can also have a little look at the different beers that they do. There was about 20 or so of them on there, 20 different beers that these guys do. So quite a prolific brewery if you consider the fact that they only started up in 2010. So definitely go and give them a look and very, very highly rated actually. But to move on to this beer itself, um, I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a wee quick look at the artwork. And one thing I've read about this brewery is they like to do things kind of just for the hell of it. So that was the kind of idea apparently behind the chandeliers in the uh, in the brewery and stuff like that. So as you can see, this one, the love tap, has a picture of a pig with a bow tie and a top hat on it. So, and they say that they just there's a monocle there as well, actually I should say. But they like to do things just for the hell of it. And this kind of it, it kind of shows in their artwork actually when you have a look at some of the other things. This is the the standard Moon Dog bottle cap, as far as I'm aware. And what's good about these beers as well actually is that they do tell you all the d the date on the side of this thing. So this guy is a 5.9% Imperial Pills beer apparently. The malt used in this guy is Pills. Uh, Cara Red, Cara Pills and Munich Malts. The hops are Galaxy Motoika uh, or Motuika, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one but it's a New Zealand hop anyway and there's also Tet Nang which are obviously from Germany as well. It's uh, 34 IBUs and yeah so it's a, and it uses a special strain of lager yeast so I guess that's everything you need to know about this beer. As I say 5.9% Imperial Pills beer so without further ado let's get this guy open and get on with the tasting here. I've heard this is a very good beer. As you can see, a nice kind of smoky opening on this one. So let's get it out. Just watch that the head doesn't go all that crazy. Yeah, it should be okay now. It really does look like a nice kind of pills beer. You can smell the kind of tropical kind of citrusy fruit off this one. It's a nice, it's a really nice aroma off this one, and that's without even paying too much attention to it. So if I just bring this up to the camera while we let the head settle, you can see it's a slightly hazy kind of bright golden amber colour. You can see through it, it does have a little bit of transparency. There's a good bit of kind of very small sediment particles is visible in there, which is quite interesting. So it should have a nice kind of big bready and yeasty flavour to it, this one. I do like that in a Pills beer. And you can see the head is a big kind of frothy and bumpy white thing. Not off-white at all. Very, very white beer, which is what you expect of a Pills. There's a good bit of carbonation, quite small bubbles just going up towards the bottom of the head there. But there are some kind of sticking towards the bottom of the glass. Let's just see if we can get the last little bit of this guy in before we check out the aroma. You can see 
you can actually see the sediment in this guy as you pour it out. There you are, poured it like a typical German beer. There is a wee bit left, but you know, that's neither here nor there for just now. So you can see a huge white head on this one. But in terms of the aroma, what you'll notice is there's a big, big tropical fruit. Big tropical fruit aroma to this one. But you can, it's almost, it's quite different as well. It's not really grapefruit. It's more of a kind of passion fruity one, actually. It smells quite a bit, it's not quite as kind of sour smelling, if that makes sense, as grapefruit. But it's a nice, very, very sweet tropically fruit coming off this one. There is definitely a little bit of kind of citrusy lemon notes in this one. It's not quite sweet enough to be orange. It's a little bit sharper on the citrusy end. But there's a little bit of pine resin in there as well. You can smell that, but there's it's, it's very faint. It's more of a, a kind of grassy element that's coming out of this one, but a very fruity, hoppy lager, this one. The aroma would actually make you think that it is more of an IPA than a lager, which sometimes these double laggers can go into, but that's another thing. They're saying it's a double lager, so we'll go with that. But it smells beautiful anyway. But you can smell, if you shake it up just a little bit, you can smell underneath it, you start to get the kind of sweeter caramel elements of the aroma. And there is de a definite kind of white bready flavour in there too, and some yeasty character kind of coming out. It's a really interesting smelling beer, this one. Just to get the last little bit in it before we start, before we taste it. Good little bit of sediment just coming out of that one there. So, this is the Love Tap from the Moondog Brewery, which is a double lager and should be, judging by the aroma, should be a very nice beer. So, cheers. It's definitely an interesting one, actually. The hop character is very, very different, actually, to what is given away in the aroma. The fruit is definitely there, and it sits at the front of the tongue, and it comes in with a nice oily mouthfeel at the start, but then it seems to be given way to a more earthy and kind of aromatic -y and herbal uh, sort of vegetal hop character in this one. It's quite interesting, that, actually. There's de and the other thing you notice with this one as well is once you get past the initial fruity hop, which I should say actually there is a little bit of tropical fruit in there, but it's mainly a kind of citrusy, a lemony citrusy hop, but it's quite a sour lemony citrus hop at the same time. There's like that lemony citrus hop kind of comes in at the front, then it moves into the bready part of the beer, and then you get at the back of the mouth, you start to get the more uh, herbal and uh, aromatic elements of the hops coming out. And they sit just over the back of the tongue at the edges, but the fruity character kind of stays a little bit right in the front edge of the tongue there. It's a really interesting one, this, just how the flavour kind of progresses. It's, it's probably one of the most complex laggers you'll find, actually, I should say that. Yeah, there's definitely a little element of that air. There is a little earthy, you know, a little earthy kind of herbal element from the hops, and that's probably from the Tetnang hops in my experience. The fruity elements will be coming from the New Zealand hops, or the the Motuika, uh, and the Galaxy probably. But you'll be getting more of the the Galaxy, if I remember rightly, is the one that gives you a little bit more of the the kind of aromaticy feel. But the Tetnang does have an element of earthy character because a lot of German brewers like to add that to their, their kind of Pils beers and stuff. So it's quite interesting just to think about that as well when you're having a taste of this beer. But yeah, you do get, you start off nice and fruity, a nice kind of bit of the, the sort of almost slightly sourish um, tropical fruit, mixing with quite a bit. Of, uh, of lemony citrus in there, then you just get this kind of almost, it's quite a grainy, bready character actually. There is a little bit of caramel sweetness to it briefly, um, but then you get this this kind of uh, sort of almost slightly grainy, bready character that comes out, but then it just suddenly evolves into a nice earthy hop character, and you just get a little bit of aromatic flavour just coming around, out around the edges of the tongue there. And some kind of herbal aromatic -y stuff. It's it's a definitely an interesting lager this. The most complex one I've ever come across.
Yeah, you'll just feel that with this one. There is a definite earthy character that just kind of punches its way out of this one quite surprisingly and it's very surprising with that when you consider the aroma it smells like an IPA almost it, if you blindly smelt this one without tasting it you would think IPA I'm quite sure of that but in terms of the mouthfeel of this one it's definitely light bodied maybe pushing the mid bodied element actually it has a slightly oily mouthfeel at the start but that kind of it actually evolves to be more of a dry uh, mouthfeel and it does have quite a lingering bitter character into the aftertaste. In the aftertaste you've got this kind of uh, aromatic freshness that kind of sticks there and you do have that earthy character that sits in the middle of the tongue and just a little bit of the kind of bready of the bready flavour as well which will come from the kind of the uh, the Pilsner malt you get that kind of the Pilsner malt I think is very similar to pale malts in the sense that it gives you that nice little bit of breadiness so it does have that nice element about the lager beer there but it's an easy drinking beer this one it's very complex for a lager which is quite interesting but it's got a nice if you like your sort of earthier beers the more bitter the kind of um, almost English bitter beers you might quite like this one actually because it does have that kind of almost slightly spicy um, bread character in it, the kind of grainy spicy bread character and then it has that earthy hoppiness to it so if you're into your English bitters this might be a lager that might be quite well suited to your taste and as, as I say if you do like the kind of aromatic and gardeny hoppy beers this is definitely one for you to check out but overall I mean this is a very very interesting lager beer probably as I say the most complex lager I've actually reviewed for you on this channel I've kind of sat and whirled away a, a lot of information out of this one I feel on this video but it's a very interesting lager I'd love to try it on tap so maybe I need to go into the city and go to Abbotsford and visit them on one of these days that the brewery is open but anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed my first review from the Moondog Craft Brewery. As I say, go and check them out on the internet there. Please let me know in the comments section below your own thoughts on this beer if you do happen to have tried it. I do like actually when I get comments on the video, so please feel free to do it. As always, Australians, please suggest other beers for me to check out. Quite a few of you are quite good at that. Check out Slow Beer in Richmond in, uh, in Melbourne. And uh, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. And I will catch you soon with my next beer review. Cheers.